Good morning. Welcome once again to our morning devotional here at Manila Baptist Church's uh, Facebook page. To start, let us pray first and commit this time to the Lord. Thank you, Father, for this morning devotional we have. Short it may be, Lord, but let this come to be working in the hearts of the listeners. Give us, Lord, an open heart and minds, and may we have an understanding as well. And I pray, Father God, that your word would serve as a blessing to us all. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. Amen. The verse I'm going to share with you this morning is in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 5. 2 Corinthians 9, 5, it says, I want it to be a willing gift, not one given grudgingly. Today I'll be talking about our giving to God. And the title of our devotional is Our Motive in Giving. Our Motive in Giving. The story is told of Billy and Ruth Graham and an experience they had in church one Sunday. As the offering was being taken, Billy Graham reached into his pocket and meant to pull out a $5 bill. Instead, he pulled out a $50 bill and did not discover it until he already had placed it in the offering plate. He was a little horrified by what he had done. And he turned to his wife, Ruth, and said, Well, at least I will get a reward in heaven for giving $50. No, Ruth said. You are going to get a reward for $5 because that is all you meant to give. Indeed, motive is everything because God looks on the heart. The Bible tells us that God loves a cheerful giver, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. And the word used for cheerful could be translated as hilarious. It suggests a joy in giving that leaps over all restraints. We give joyfully. That is the meaning of it. Amazingly, the Apostle Paul urged the Corinthian believers to give. And he cited the Macedonian believers who were relatively impoverished in comparison to the Corinthian believers. And in speaking of them in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2, he said, They are being tested by many troubles, and they are very poor, but they are also filled with abundant joy, which has overflowed in rich generosity. And how can we say the terms many troubles, very poor, and rich generosity would fit together in one verse? They fit when people have discovered the joy of giving. Giving is not a luxury of the rich. It is a privilege of the poor and of everyone, not just people who have disposable incomes. And as we do that, let us also check our motives. In, our, in giving. Many of us right now are having difficult experiences. During this pandemic, it's been hard to many of us. There are those who have lost job and opportunities. There are those who doesn't have work. Since there's no work, there's no pay. But still, they are still privileged, just like these Macedonian believers. Amidst this uh, difficulty, amidst this uh, many troubles, they are experiencing being poor as well. Yet, when they give to God, they give with abundant joy. It is flowing, overflowing in rich generosity because their motive to give is pure and true. In their heart so they may be in need but still when they give they give with a true heart giving is a responsibility giving is, a, is an opportunity and it is a blessing for every follower of Jesus Christ it is a blessing for every believer that we can give we are privileged to give to God 
in fact we are simply returning what is due him for he is the giver he is the provider he is the source of everything that we are receiving in this life and as good steward of that we return to him we give back what belongs to him with joy in our heart let us check every time that we are to give that when we give we are giving with the right motive may god bless you all good morning